spaghetti is delicious. King Caillou, we have some bad news. What is it? Over there, we saw a giant shape in the sky. Maybe it was a bird? It looked like a dragon. A dragon? It was coming this way. There it is! It's a green fire breather. <gasps> How can we defeat it? It will be very hard. Dragons are always angry and very hungry. What do they eat? Teddy bears and spaghetti. Oh no! We should go and hide Sir Teddy in the dungeon. He'll be safe in there. It's working out how to attack! Quick! Everyone grab a sword and shield! Okay! Is everyone ready? Ready! Charge! He understands you're playing a game. But he's the dragon, Mommy. He wants to eat Teddy and all our spaghetti. I've got an idea. Why don't you ask Rexy if he'd like to join in and play the part of the dragon? That's a great idea, Mommy. There. Rexy is much more like a dragon. Oh no! This dragon's even bigger! Deserved a treat. Thanks, Mommy. Another dragon. <laughs> this is Gilbert, and he's a very friendly cat, aren't you, Gilbert? likes eating ice cream, not Teddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Caillou was having a play date with Clementine. They were playing king and queen of the castle. Hello, I am King Caillou. What's your name? I'm Queen Clementine. It's nice to meet you, King Caillou. 
What are all those boxes for, Daddy? Mr. Daniels down the street is moving house, so we're letting him borrow these boxes. Caillou thought that the boxes looked like big building blocks. I know. How about we build our own castle? That's a great idea, Caillou. You can be the king, and I can be the queen. I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the tower. There, our castle is finished. Lower the drawbridge, Clem. Wow! This place is huge! Hello, Queen Clem. Hello, King Caillou. Shall we go to the top of the tower? We can see the whole kingdom from up there. Okay. Wow! We're so high up! From the top of the tower, King Caillou and Queen Clementine could see for miles around in every direction. It's so beautiful! This is the best kingdom ever! Let's go and sit on our thrones! As King Caillou and Queen Clementine entered the throne room, they were shocked to find that somebody was already sitting there. Hey! You can't sit there! Only a king or queen can sit on the throne! Me queen! Me queen! Oh! <laughs> it's you, Rosie! Rosie, you can't be the queen. Clementine is the queen. It's okay, Rosie. You can be the princess. There. Pretty. Oh no! The castle is under attack! It's a giant! Okay, playtime's over. We have to take these boxes to Mr. Daniels now. Oh, but we were playing king and queen. It's okay, King Caillou. I'll bring them back for you to play with once Mr. Daniels is finished with them. Yay! Caillou had loved being the king, and he couldn't wait to build another castle with his friends. Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar. It's eating a lot of that big leaf, Mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the <laughs> magnifying glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Wow! A great big jungle monster! 
why you looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird. It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves. Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly. The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. Oh no! The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy! Sarah! Did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly! That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll have a butterfly of my very own! Wow, Caillou, that's so cool! Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. Today, Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. It's okay, Rosie. They're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? <laughs> Thank you! Hey, get out of here, you! Buzz off! Go and get your own ice cream! Ow! <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay, we can get you another one. It's not my ice cream, it's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh dear, poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. Why, why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it, but it was trying to eat my ice cream. Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. That's a big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? 
Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Ride the donkey? Sure you can! Whoa! This is high up! <laughs> Here! These will keep you safe! Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. 